Hi, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements looking at some of the cool tools in the program. Now, a great many of these tools are manual tools. They're similar to tools that are available in the professional version of Photoshop. But the program also comes bundled with some nice guided edits. Now, many of these guided edits, I'm just going to click on that center tab here at the top of the program. Many of these guided edits are rather simple. How to correct skin tone, how to rotate and straighten a, a photo, how to control brightness and contrast, or how to correct color or work with black and white. But some of these fun and special edits are actually pretty advanced and they just walk you step by step through the process of doing some pretty advanced photo editing. So I'm going to go under special edits and I'm going to select perfect landscape which as you can see by definition replace the sky remove haze erase unwanted objects and more pretty cool let's go ahead and select that option and here is a photo that i already have open in my uh, photo workspace just simply a neighborhood photo i have options here or tools here for cropping it if i'd like very simple to do but i'm not going to crop it or to straighten it and that would be if the camera was held just a little bit crooked and it looks pretty straight to me. So I'm going to leave that as is. We also don't have an issue with haze, but you can see if I click on this, it's going to increase the contrast. It's going to clarify the photo a little bit. And if this photo were shot on a hazy or smoggy day, you get a much cleaner photo. One thing I think is very cool about this tool is that you can replace the sky. So right now we have just some light, upper atmosphere clouds but we can change those clouds if we'd like or change the sky simply by selecting one of the options here in the library let's try blue sky 3 just take a second for the program to generate it so some nice clouds I can actually move those around just by clicking on the move tool here on the panel on the right and I can shift those clouds there we go within the picture isn't it nice how the program automatically found the sky and it automatically blends this look into the sky? If I choose sunrise, the sky may not by default match the foreground in terms of color. I mean, we've got a little bit of reddishness here. We don't have that in the foreground, but look, there's an auto match color tone tool right here. If I just check that box, it'll take a second and the program's gonna automatically tint the foreground or the houses and the grass and the trees to match the sunrise let's see if we go with something really extreme like an orange sunset sky and again we'll select the option to match the color tone and this actually looks like a pretty authentic sunset there are controls here for refining the edge we program has done a pretty good job here of finding the edge along the trees and the skyline along the top of the roofs so it looks pretty naturally integrated into the picture in a spot healing brush in case there are things in the picture you don't like. I may not want the sump pump to appear in my picture. So you see I get a little crosshair there. I'm going to make that larger by pressing the open bracket and close bracket buttons to make it larger and smaller. There we go. Open bracket, I'm sorry, close bracket is making it a little larger and now I need to just drag over that little drain and maybe even drag over the pipe itself. And the program is going to use content awareness. In other words, it's going to look at what is around that object to fill it in nicely. So if I don't want a dandelions to show in my grass, I need to only click on those and the program will do the rest, filling it in with grass. But a really nice set of guided tools or just semi-automatic easy tools to work with. Let's take a look at before. There's our before. Here's our after. We can look at it side by side before and after. And we can zoom in or out by using control plus or, or command plus. And we can see the program has done a very nice job of making a more interesting landscape picture out of my original shot. All as a guided edit semi-automatically. Very cool tool. You want to know more about these tools? Check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything there is to know about the program, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available at amazon.com. And I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote the book. Hope to see you again real soon.